All right, so we can, yeah, so we can also create videos on Canva. Okay, so apart from the app I'll be teaching us today, on Canva, you can actually create videos. Okay, so if you take, for instance, there's a particular um, advert you want to create for your, for your brand, you can create videos on Canva. So I'm not going to like do so much, but I want you, since you have the app, I want you to play around, play around with the app. Try out different things, different videos, different templates. Okay, try out different things on the app that you can do with it. Try out different things that you can do on the app. Okay, I'm going to give some assignments today as well so that you should create some things. to so try out different things on the app. At the same time, you can create book covers. Book covers. If, for instance, oh, you're writing a book um, and you want to publish the book, you can create a book cover on, on Canva. You can create a book cover on Canva. Then at the same time, you can create calendar, infographics, photo collage, your, your graphs, magazine covers, your website covers, your posters, reports, different things, right? So you can create um, a lot of things on um, any type of design that you're thinking about. So you can actually, your phone wallpaper. So if you need nice wallpaper for your phones, you can create it on Canva as well. So and you can explore the app, okay? Explore everything, right? Different things that you can do on Canva. And I want you to take your time, go through like so many things that you can do on Canva, okay? And yes, even with the free accounts, um, without buying pro, you can actually do so much, so many things, right? You can actually do so many things. Okay, so um, that is for Canva. So for now, we're going to wrap wrap up on that on Canva for now. This time we're going to come back to it. This time we're going to come back to it. Um, earlier today, I taught us how to use, how to download images online, okay? I taught us how to use clean PNG, how to download images from clean PNG. I'll just do a quick recap. Simply visit cleanpng.com and then search for a keyword of what you're looking for, um, Take for instance, I'm probably to do, I'm trying to design for, uh, let's say, Indomie. All I have to do is to search. And then I would see different things regarding Indomie, all right? Indomie, Indomie, um, Indomie parks that I can use on my design, right? Indomie, um images that I can use. If I want the Indomie logo itself, what I want to do is to actually search for what I want to do is to actually search for Indomie logo. Alright? So search for Indomie logo. Let's see what it brings up. Right. So it's not bringing up much. Let's just type Indomie and hope we, we should see the logo there. Okay, let's see. All right, this one has a logo, but it's the logo and like some other things. So let's keep scrolling. You can see one that has just the logo. Uh, I don't think there's anyone here that has just a logo. But yes.
particular place like where are the other where are the other places you can find pngs i know there's one it's um png tree dot com png tree dot com so it's also a place where you can download some it's also a place where you can download some pngs as well yeah so you can also download from this this png tree okay so um we're wrapping up with canva for now we're going to come back to it much later but today we want to start with photo editing I want to start with what photo editing and um the app we're using for photo editing is an app we can easily use on our phone what we can easily use on our phone um before now i shared some links to apps that you need to download i'm going to try to get those links back so you can download so you can download the app if you if you don't have the app here. Okay. So if you don't have the app yet, let me see. So if you don't have this app yet, please you need to download them. All right. Uh, I'm going to... Right. So the app we're going to use now for photo editing is Snapseed. 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 So that's one thing. That's the app we want to use now. Snapseed. So click on this Snapseed link, Snapseed, Snapseed, and once you click on it, it takes you to the Google Play Store, and then you can click on Open or Install if you've not installed it. So click on Install. For me, I've installed it, so I'm just going to click on Open. When you open, this is like the first thing you would see. I want to be sure that everyone is following me. So are we still following me? Yes, we are. Okay. So how many of us Just have more. downloaded Snapseed? I have downloaded Snapseed. So just type it on the on the chat. If you've downloaded Snapseed, see just type I've downloaded Snapseed. I have Snapseed. Um or just type yes, yes, yes. So I want to see our response. How many people have Snapseed? Okay, so let's see. Let's see. If you're still downloading, let me know. Oh, you're downloading it. So I'll just wait for you for a few minutes. Okay. All right. So I have one, two, Ma, three, four, five. Ma, please don't Ma, please yeah? don't say should download. I think you should download Snapseed. Snapseed. S N A P S W E D. I pasted the link on the on the chat. Download Snapseed. Snapseed. Okay, so some people have downloaded it. Some people are still downloading. Yes, very good. So those that have downloaded it, I want you to check your gallery and prepare a picture that we are going to edit. Prepare a picture, either a picture of your face or your friend. Yeah. Prepare a picture that you want to edit. Prepare, just have it down in your gallery. If you don't have any picture that, that you can edit, just take a selfie of yourself and then you're going to edit that one. All right. So just check your gallery and check, ensure that you have a picture that you can edit. I did uh, um, a clear picture that I can edit. Okay. So I'm going to take a picture of myself. Let's see. Oh, 
All right, so taking a picture of myself. All right, once you have your picture taken, yes. Good, so let's come back here. Okay. The next thing we want to do is to open our Snapseed. So everyone, let's open up Snapseed. Let's click on open. So once you open it, this is what you would be seeing. This is what you would be seeing. Then you need to tap, let's press this tap, all right? And it's going to ask you, allow Snapseed to assess your photos and videos. Okay, we're going to say allow. Now I would see the images I just took, okay? So look for the image you want. You can you can click on this dash 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 to go to your images, right? Okay? A camera, okay. So I'm going to pick on like an image that I want to edit. So once you click on the image you want, okay, once you click on the image, are we there? I want to be sure everyone is together. So click on the image, select the image that you want to use. Select the image that you want to edit. Now this app is like a very like quick, easy way to like edit your pictures. Yeah, it's not as as um as professional as Photoshop, right? But it is something you can easily use on your phone. Like when you snap a picture, you can easily touch up the picture before posting it. Okay. Yes. So let's see. So before taking pictures, you need to be like even before you start editing, the major the major thing is that you you have like a very good like a very good you took a very good picture in the in the first place. So before taking pictures, ensure you clean your camera lens, okay? Clean your camera lens, either your phone camera, clean it well before you take pictures. And ensure that there's enough light whenever you want to take pictures. Ensure that there's enough light whenever you take, want to take pictures. And then position your camera very well to take a good picture. Because it's always better to take a very good, a, a good picture and then edit it a little bit compared to, compared to taking a bad picture and then you're now trying to use um, apps to edit it. It's it's it won't be as good as you taking a very good picture first and then editing. So ensure you take good pictures. All right. Ensure you take good pictures first. Clean your camera lens. Position your camera well. Ensure that there's enough light, natural light, before you take the picture. Okay. So once you have your picture here, uh, I'm still waiting for Jumi B and Ify Charles. I want to be sure I've downloaded it now. I will download that your your app now. Okay. Now well, we've downloaded it. So, all right, good. So the first thing after you import your picture, you would see the I have three things down here. I have styles, I have tools, and I have exports. Okay. So we're gonna start with styles. We're gonna start with what styles. On these styles, there are different 
stars to pick from. Excuse me, mom. Okay. I don't have yes? styles, but I have looks. Ex- looks, yes, and... it's the same thing. Um, so if you can you can okay, have mom. looks or, or styles, so it's the same thing. All okay, right, so sorry. we have portraits. So when you click on portraits, so I'm going to do that again. Portraits. So I'm under looks now. So I click on portraits. I can see that it cha- some changes have been made to my picture. If I want to see the the original and compare it to, I just need to click on the click the image down. So click on the image, and then you see the difference. Click on the image, and then you see what you see the difference. So there's portraits. There's also smooths. Okay. These are under styles or looks. There's smooth, there's pop, there's accentuate. So you can try out the different styles. Okay, you can try out the different styles. You can try out the different styles. Okay, I thought I was sharing my screen. Let me check. I was sharing my screen. Let me let me try to share again. Okay. Um can you mute your mic? Can you mute your mic? Okay, so I'm sharing my screen. Please confirm. Someone should confirm that they can see my screen. I can see it. All right, thank you. Okay, so I have portrait, I have smooth, I have pop, I have a sense with. So I'm going to click on so for so you can choose the style that you want, the one you prefer. Uh, me, I want to use portrait for now. Uh, let's see. Let me use accentuate for now. And then we'll go to tools. We'll go to tools. Okay. Tools. Under. Um, so Snapseed, you can download it on your PC. Just go to snapseed.online. You can download it on your laptop. Snapseed dot online. Then you will see a way to download it on your laptop. That's for those that are using the those that are using the laptop. So you can download it. So it's made only for mobile phones, but you can also download it on your laptop. So Snapseed dot online snapseed dot online snapseed dot online so open just open that on your chrome and then scroll down and then you will see a button to help you download it for your laptop that's for those using laptop um because someone asked on the group that's um flourish okubanger so you said they are using your laptop so just go to snapseed dot online and then you will be able to download it on your laptop. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now let's go to tools. The first tool we can see is tune image. Tune image. So let's explore. Let's look at that. So for tune image, let me click on tune image. So everyone just try to follow. I'm going to click on tune image. 
at the top, at the top, you would see brightness, brightness, okay? Uh, so you can increase the brightness of your picture. Just a little bit. Don't let it be too much, all right? So you can either increase or reduce by swiping. At the top of the, the brightness, there's a bar there. By swiping it left or right, okay? Left or right. So you can reduce, you can increase, you can increase, you can reduce. Okay, so that's brightness. Then you can compare it by tapping on this this icon that is beside the brightness here. Then another thing, um, so at the bottom. You will see an X, that's the close. You will see a, a filter icon, that one. So when you click on this filter icon, you see that brightness is selected. If I want to go to contrast, I'll select the set contrast. So the same thing, when you select contrast, you go right and left to increase or decrease, okay? And at the same time, there's saturation, okay? You can also do right and left to increase or decrease or just leave it the way it is. Then there's ambience, ambient. So I want you to play around with this. Yeah, ambience, there's highlights, there's shadow, there's warmth. So if, for instance, like the public shadow can reduce the shadow, okay, can reduce it. Um, warmth you can increase or reduce the warmth. All right, so when you're done with all of that, you click on the check check mark at the right hand side. To click on the check mark at the right hand side. Click on the check mark at the right hand side. But at the same time, if you don't want to, if you don't want to. Okay, I feel you should be able to hear me better now. My mic wasn't working before. All right, so if you don't want to like keep adjusting brightness, warmth, everything, everything, you can apply the auto adjustment. This is this um icon here that has the stars, 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 three stars around it. So that is like auto adjust. So it's it's adjust the brightness, it's adjust the warmth, it's adjust the saturation for you. Okay. So it's adjust it for you. All right, or at the same time, you can do it by yourself. Brightness, warmth, contrast. Can do you can do it by yourself or use auto adjust. Now, when you're done, you click on the check. Now, if I click on my image, I see the difference between what it was before and what I this is what I had before. Now, this is what I have now. Okay, what I had before and what I have now. Now you can see that I have more, like it's popping. The colors are more um, vibrant now. Okay, now still on tools, we have details. We have details. So still the same thing. Um, you can apply, increase the structure, the sharpening of like how sharp do you want the image to be? So you can increase, increase, or just leave it as it is. So when I make it sharp, I see more lines on my face. Like things are clearer. Uh, my face is like, like clearer compared to like if I have it at zero. Or 
I'm I'm going to reduce the sharpening though. I don't really want it. So I'm going to leave the sharpening at zero. Then still on tools, um, we have the crop, crop. So I'm going to, I'm selecting just some things I'm going to show you. We have the crop. So for instance, if you want to crop out some things, okay, you don't want it to show. I use the crop to crop it out. Okay, but for me, I think I, I am not really cropping anything. So when you crop, then you click on the check mark to apply. But I didn't, I don't really need to crop anything, so I'm leaving it as it, as it is. Then another thing I want to talk about is selective. Selective. You can see it here. This is it with a circle. Selective. What selective does is that if there's a particular portion of the, the image, like you want to apply a particular effect to, you select that particular portion. So that, like, for instance, I don't want to apply brightness on everywhere. I just want to apply brightness on maybe on my clothes or on the wall, the environment, not on my body. What selective does is you can select that particular place you want to apply that effect to, and then the effect you apply will be applied to only that place. So I'm going to click on this plus, and I'm going to select this wall. Okay, I'm selecting the wall behind me, and I can now say, oh, Wallo, I want to increase your brightness. So you can see, I can reduce the brightness of the wall. I can increase the brightness of the wall because I selected just the, the wall. Do we understand? Yeah. So I'm going to try that again. Choose selective. You select which parts you want to apply. You select which part you want to apply that e the effect to you. Maybe there's a particular click you want to apply the effect to you and not everywhere. For instance, oh, I want to apply, let's say I want to apply brightness to my shirt. Okay, I can increase the brightness of my top or reduce the brightness of my top. Okay. Um, let's say, for instance, I want to... I want to apply brightness to make my forehead. Okay, I can increase the brightness of my forehead. And you see that only my forehead is my forehead is shining. Okay, I have increased the brightness of my forehead, my forehead. So so yeah, so I'm I'm going to use that and I'm going to try to increase the brightness of the place under my eye. I'm going to select my under eye. I want to select um, the underneath of my eye. Let me reduce this. And I'm going to increase the brightness. Of the places under my eye. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit and increase the brightness of the the places under my eye. Then there is brush, brush, brush. So what this brush does is it applies a certain effect to like a certain place. To see that as I'm brushing my face, it's getting, um, let's say, a bit whiter. Okay, so that's what, like, the brush does. 
Okay, but yes, definitely, you don't want to be this white. So I'm going to do X, okay? So what the, the brush should, there are different types of brush, dodge and bond, X exposure. There is um, temperature, saturation. So depending on the brush type you use, you probably not really use this much, but yeah. Um, I can use... Uh, instance, let me just give my nose um, highlights. Okay. I use it to give my nose some highlights. To so, no, no, I'm not on selective, I'm on brush. So I can use it to give my nose some highlights. Not so much, just more. And my chin, give it some highlights. All right. Another thing you probably need is the healing tool. Healing. So when you click on healing, you would see the the tool. So what healing tool does is you can click on maybe you have pimples or something somewhere. You can click on that pimples and the the spots would go so let me undo so there's the pimples on my face here you can see the black dots i can click on it and it goes away okay um there's a black dot here i can click on it and it goes away so yes yeah, so if there are things on your face maybe pimples spots you want to remove you can use the healing to to remove them. So this tool is what the healing tool. Healing tool. Healing tool. So let's click on the check mark. Um, when we're done. Good. Um, let's see. So yes, you can always try out the, the other ones, but for now, like these are the the ones you probably need. Okay. Um if you want to add if you want to add a text, so you can add the text here. Okay. There are different styles of the of the text. So you can add the text. <laughs> You can add uh, a, a, a text, okay, a different type. And add a text to the image. Okay, so if you want to add a text to the image, you can add a text to the image. Um, so yes, you can also add frames. Okay, you want to add a frame to the image, you can add frames as well to the image. Okay. Um, to so now to export, what you want to do is to click on export, and what this does now they save save. I mainly click on save. It's going to save the pictures. Now let's see the difference between what I had before and what I have now. So this is the difference of what I had before and now what I have now after my editing. Okay, so I want to edit a picture and then I want you on the group, share with us the before picture and then share with us the after picture. Before and after, before and after. So share with us the picture before. I'm going to give you an example now. 
So this was my picture before. And then this is the after. Okay. So just select the two and then share. So I have before and I have after. Okay. So I want you to share with us your before and after pictures. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Share your before and after pictures. Okay. All right. So this is what Dan. Yeah. So most of the time, it's always better to use it to edit like actual pictures and not like graphics. Or yeah, like an actual picture, a picture of your face, a picture of an image, a picture of maybe a product you are selling. Um, maybe your parents, yeah, uh, your parents are selling hair, water bottles, like anything, like pictures of things. Yeah, so you can use. Um, picture of like a product or your like and your face, yeah. So you can, you can share picture. Okay, so I'm waiting for some more people to share their pictures. So, um, in case you maybe make an edit. And then you want to undo, you want to go back to what you did before. This at the top here above your picture, you see one arrow pointing back. When you click on it, you see undo and revert, then view edits. So you can select which edit you don't like and remove it. I remove it. Okay. Thank you. So you can undo, you can revert, then view all the other edits, and then remove the one you don't like. But yes, I'm waiting for the people to send in their edited pictures. Let's send in our edited pictures. All right, these, these are very good. Wow, this editing is very, very much. But yeah, you get the whole gist. Okay, so yes, try not to over edit. Try not to over edit. <laughs> yeah, try not to over edit. Um, so most of the time, there are some pictures you just need to edit a little bit. For instance, now this one, the brightness is too much, right? So there are some times you probably even want to reduce the brightness or increase it just a little bit, not so much. Okay, yeah. So um, let's bear that in mind. Okay, when we are editing, let's bear that in mind when we are editing. Okay. All right. Um. Someone has a question. Yes. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. 